Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading is going to be a general reading. This will be the theme. This is from the Moonology Manifestation Deck. New Moon and Capricorn step up and lead. Okay, so we'll see what that has to do with the tarot. Step up and lead. That could go in a lot of different directions, couldn't it? All right. What advice do you have for Sagittarius, please? What does Sagittarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Sagittarius? All right, we will lay out the tarot, then we'll close with an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. You've got the tower, time for a change. You have the Knight of Swords, the moon, more will be revealed. The Page of Cups, the star, you know what comes right after the tower, the star in order. You might say, no, I have no idea. Now, what's even more interesting about this is it goes the star, the, the tower, the star, the moon. You have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Sun. Now, this is even crazier. So it goes the Tower, the Star, the Moon, the Sun. Okay, these are in order. All right, I, I love it when these three appear. I mean, this looks beautiful. This is like, you look at this and it feels like the sunrise after a storm and you know everything's going to be okay. It's this, but you know the juggernaut that creates it. I mean, this is half the reading. I can't do this. I can't shovel these to make this happen. You have here Aquarius, Pisces is here. You have quite a bit of water too. You have air as well. Um, but with this energy, better times are ahead. Let go to receive. I would just let it go immediately. Now I say oftentimes let go or be dragged. But with this, it truly is the meaning of let go to receive. So what an incredible reading. It's going to be a very auspicious time for you. Now, remember, step up and lead. You know why we do that? Because when the tower is in a reading, it is oftentimes an indication and a symbol of something in your life that you know you need to change. And if you don't do it, you're going to feel really out of control because it will get changed. You have a deep desire here. You have a deep, you have a deep ask, okay, whether you've consciously asked it or not. And the universe will conspire to deliver. It's how the, the universal laws are set up. So I definitely feel like with this tower energy, whatever this is, is rickety. It's not a strong tower. It's a weak tower. Now, if it's something too with a, a job situation or some kind of money transaction, I do feel like if you had some misdealings there, it's going to get rectified with that Knight of Swords and it's going to happen fast. Like all of a sudden, it's like, wow. So for some of you too, you might even be a, almost like a bystander of it. This Knight of Swords, Knights are on a quest. And this may be somebody coming in on your behalf who's going to get the job done. If something wasn't, you weren't treated fairly in some way, that is going to be righted with that tower energy. I do feel like you'll get an apology, but I feel like more than that, you just want things to be right. It's like this feels like vindication to me. Now, even if you lost a job, you may find that they come back with another offer. Okay, if there was or, or more will happen there. I just feel like it's not the end of the story for somebody who lost a job. Like you're going to get with the moon, you're going to get the answers. And you may say, I'm so glad it happened the way it did. I'm better off without that place. It could have gotten me so much farther in. If it's a relationship, I even feel the same way. Even if it wasn't that long, but you were falling hard and fast, I feel like you're going to get information about that, that you're going to say, thank God I didn't get any farther in than that. Or if it even was a serious relationship and it's like you're looking at your life saying, I still have a lot of life left to live and I'd rather be free. I'd rather be in the place where I can find real love than stay there. Whatever this is, it's vindication is how I'm getting it. So the moon comes in and the moon mirrors the sun. Okay, need we see, you see these, this is the sun, right? Okay, it's always darkest before the dawn. So I do feel like if you're going through a dark spot, if you've had a breakup, you have love coming in here big time. But what the moon tells us to do is get right with ourselves, get right with this universe, get right with the God of your understanding. Everything comes from source. And so the moon is more is going on behind the scenes than perhaps you realized. 
The universe hears conversations we don't hear, sees things we don't see, and will make moves on our behalf that we will not make for ourselves. God will do for us what we won't do for ourselves, okay? And when I say God, I mean that in a very broad way, um, I, however you would interpret that. But with the moon energy, I do feel like it brings in great balance. And so if there's been something in your life that hasn't felt equitable or balanced in some way, I do feel like you're going to be able to release it. And that's the biggest challenge. That's the biggest hurdle is how do I let go? And so with this moon energy, you've got a new cycle beginning and one that delivers gifts. So whatever seemed like a gut punch, I do feel like you're going to say this is so much better. But remember, step up and lead. It's also about moving forward. This is a card that tells you, you take one step, the universe will take two. You will get there very quickly. You just got to get moving. We've got to keep moving. And so with that page of cups energy, you've got a messenger. We have one on a quest and a messenger. In terms of love, if it was a breakup, you have somebody, you can't. this can be reconciliation. I wouldn't count it out completely. But it's got to come. have somebody who comes back open, soft, vulnerable, and willing to own their side of things, their side of the street, willing to clean things up. If they're not that way, then that is not them. Because this page of cups is not only a hopeless romantic, but it's the kind of energy where you just smile. There's a softening agent about this page. And so this page too is, is a card of safety where you feel completely secure. And so if it's a job situation that you lost or a housing thing where you got hosed, this is where you're going to say, I feel like I can trust again. In a relationship, it's the best. This is somebody that loves to send emojis and they just are very romantic in that way. Even if they're something that is very powerful at work, they have some kind of a job where they have very no-nonsense kind of a job, I feel like they have almost a completely different presence in relationships. So the star is wish fulfillment. It is better times ahead, but this is a card of meditation. The seed of the soul appears twice here. So like I said, everything comes from source. She is in flow. This is the goddess of truth. So I do feel like the truth is going to come out on your behalf where you're going to feel a whole lot better about something where, again, I heard vindication repeatedly, but I feel like this is going to bring a real sense of inner peace, calm, tranquility, and just get you into a whole lot better frame of mind. Now, it's also great companionship. So she's, of course, about wish fulfillment. And if it is a partner, it's somebody who's going to be a great match for you, somebody who's going to be very understanding of you and what balances you, what you need in a relationship, and wanting to deliver that. So the Ace of Cups, you do have a love showing up. And this is like the offer that fills your love tank. Okay, that gas tank, that love tank is up on high. There's nothing missing here. And so in a relationship, it's definitely somebody who's going to meet you where you're at. And it's somebody who can love unconditionally. So if you had a relationship that was the tower, and it was built on conditions. And you know how that is. We can't control conditions very easily all the time. They happen, right? And so if you had a very conditional relationship and it, you just never felt like you were quite comfortable, this is where you have a love that is, it's easy street. It's one where it's like you're both willing to kind of flow with life. There's not all these stops and starts and difficult energies about it. And so you're attracting a queen of cups. Again, with that star energy is pretty darn good. But the Queen of Cups loves like no other, okay? She is also a person, in terms of a person, somebody you can trust easily. You can talk their ear off, too. I feel like the two of you will have great conversation. And you may find that you have the same values, the same ideals. You have a very similar outlook on life. And so it just makes it easy. Now, if it's a job or even a, li a living situation that ended, I feel like you're going to be treated almost like I heard the Plaza, like the Plaza Hotel in New York City that's so famous, or the Carlisle is another one, but I heard the Plaza like that, like almost like they roll out the red carpet. I feel like whatever this is, like I said, you're not going to miss what you lost. You're going to say this is so much better. And so with the sun energy, everything is illuminated. There's nothing hidden anymore. You have gifts coming in, but it also, remember we had step up and lead. This is a card of victory and triumph. It really is a time of making big gains in your life, but also finding your people. And so when you're in the energy of the sun, it's that pure illumination. So you see everything very clearly. 
and it really is about trust okay so i feel like any endeavors that you're starting any new job or a move it's going to be fantastic in terms of a love relationship though it's definitely somebody who's a partner i mean there's no doubt about it that you can i heard bury your soul you can be who you are so let's see now what the angel answers want to tell you here sagittarius What a great reading. I haven't had one like that. I keep hearing it's cosmic consciousness. It sure is. Somebody, this is your energy. I mean, the cards are energy. And somebody here, you've got quite a story coming through. All right, messages for Sagittarius. Meditation brings answers. And that is the card of the star, the moon. Also, too, getting balanced in terms of mind, body, spirit, especially that body with the moon. You've got get more information. Well, I don't think that should be hard. I feel like something is going to be exposed. And I heard the word expose. That's interesting. Who uses that? It's up to you. They say, of course, let it begin with you. You have in the near future. And you've got don't stop. Not surprised to see those coming out. Good things are on the way, Sagittarius. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.